Hello and welcome back to Crackpot Sports Today and give you my review of PNC Park, yes, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. My wife and I went up there last weekend to watch my Padres play the Pittsburgh Pirates. And let me just start out by saying PNC Park is a beautiful ballpark. It's a fun place to watch a game. Uh, great seating. The seats we got were right behind the visitors' dugout, a fourth row up. Inexpensive. I think they were $50 each. Uh, the people working there, the ushers, the vendors, the were all really super nice and super helpful. Just a great atmosphere to watch a baseball game. Not Again, being an opposing fan, not once did I feel threatened that I couldn't cheer for my team. Where some ballparks I go, eh, I'm just going to be quiet. I'm not going to stand up because I'm outnumbered and all that stuff. Now, the first game, Friday night, there were only about 8,000 fans there, maybe. It was pretty quiet. It was almost like being at a funeral. Now, the Pirates weren't really in the game. It was going back and forth, but the Padres really controlled that game. Now, the second night was fireworks night, and they put on a great fireworks show. It was fantastic. Uh, there are about 25,000 people there. If you're used to parking at the stadium and then walking in, that doesn't happen here. This is the downtown ballpark. You park about three-tenths, four-tenths of a mile away and walk to the stadium. Now, if you're in shape, it's no big deal. If you're out of shape like me, it's a little bit of a struggle, but again, it wasn't that. It was like, oh, I'm never coming back here again. I'm not walking that far. But just giving you some heads up, it is a downtown ballpark and not there is no parking at the stadium. My biggest complaint was the first night my wife and I got two hot dogs, uh, a beer, a Coke, and fries. About 40 bucks, but it's, you know, you know you're gonna pay a lot of money when you go to a ballpark. Literally the worst hot dogs we've ever had in any stadium, football, basketball, whatever it is, the worst hot dogs I've ever had in my life. They were terrible. Now, hot dog has the word hot in it. These dogs were cold. They were cold dogs. The buns were stale. Now, this is only the second inning. So it's like, okay, it's not like the eighth inning where the food's been sitting around all night long. No, these hot dogs were god-awful. And I said I would never buy another hot dog there again unless I was guaranteed the hot dog would be halfway decent. Now, the second night, we had a late lunch. So we went up about the fifth inning, said, okay, let's get a snack or something like that. Uh, but we had noticed that people sitting around us would leave. It wouldn't come back for like two innings. We're like, okay, maybe they're just sitting up there eating, but they were bringing the food back. Literally, we sat in line for half an inning and gave up because the line didn't move. Now, there were more fans. Again, like I said, 8,000 fans on Friday night, about 25,000 fans on Saturday night. I don't think they hired more staff. Each concession stand had like one worker at the register, and that person was getting the food. It was taking forever. I said, well, look, I didn't come all the way up here to Pittsburgh, pay money to sit here and stand in line for food. So we just gave up and set, went back to our seats. And another complaint is the only ones coming around were cotton candy and the uh, and people selling beer. And it's a cashless stadium. You can't pay with cash. And a lot of Pirates fans, most of them were Pirate fans, were getting upset by that because they had cash. They go, what do you mean it's only cash? So for me, when you're charging that, and I know it's hard to get employees these days, but when you're charging seven bucks for a hot dog, $14 for a beer, whatever it was, I think you can afford to hire more people to work there. I get, because the night before, the lines weren't as long because there was nobody there. But when you have more fans in the stands, you have to hire or at least bring in more staff to run the concession stands. But again, that was my only complaint, major complaint, was the food. I thought it was just, I thought it was ridiculous that the lines were taking so long. Uh, but again, if you want, if your team is going to Pittsburgh, so you're a Cardinals fan, a Mets fan, you know, whatever it is, and you want to sit at a nice, really nice ballpark at a reasonable price for the seating, go to PNC Park. You'll have a great time. That's all we got. Let me know what you think in the comment section. We'll be back later on. Subscribe, like this video, share it, tell a friend, all that fun stuff. I'm out. Bye, everybody.